Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Giant Killers on Football Manager 2016 and since last episode where we beat Tanana 3-1 we've played quite a few games. We started off with a game against Benevento, Giuseppe Recchia put us 1-0 up but we couldn't hold on and with 5 minutes to go Alessio Campagnacci equalised, that ended 1-1. We followed that up with a 2-0 defeat away to Empoli and then beat Avellino 3-1. Three different goal scorers for us, Steindirk, Giuseppe Recchia and Hassan Sayad getting three first half goals and uh, Avellino couldn't come back Massimo Coda got their one goal to make it 3-1 we then lost 2-1 to Carpi despite Giuseppe Recchia trying to mount a late comeback we were 2-0 down he brought it back to 2-1 and we lost 2-0 to Lecce as well they had the entirety of this game we did not play well at all Henrik Dibkiest getting sent off in the 83rd minute just summed up our day then we played Frozenone, the team where Josh Scowen moved to against my wishes. And we went 2-0 down, thanks to goals from Luca Forte and Mattia Fanotto. However, Giuseppe Recchia, who has been in inspired form this season, and he is he's just he's probably one of the best signings I've made, I'd say. Obviously on loan from Napoli, he managed to bag himself a hat trick and bring it back to a 3-2 victory. Unfortunately, Maxwell Acosti got injured in this game and he's out for, I think it's three months, got a torn hamstring. Uh, he he pretty much made made the goals for Giuseppe Recchia to score. It's a bit disappointing with that. And then Giuseppe Recchia again against Perugia, getting the only goal of the game and giving us a 1-0 victory. So today's two matches are against Cezena, who are in 13th, and Slenatana, who are in 4th. So let's get to it. So this is the lineup for today's game. We've got Liam Kelly in goal. Donnell Furlong is right back. Alves, Byrne and De Benedictis on the centre of defence. Pignato is on the left. In centre midfield, we've got Alberto Itri and Stefano Mario. Right attacker midfield coming in for the injured Maxwell Acosti is Dale Jennings. Hassan Syed on the left. And Giuseppe Recchia, our top scorer this season with nine goals and ten appearances up front. Incidentally, a couple of players have come to me to say that they're unhappy at the lack of first-team football that they're getting. One of them is Shane Long. So I've told him that I'll look to sell him as soon as possible. It's a bit unfortunate. He hasn't really been able to play for us. I did just want him as a experienced backup for our two young strikers, Giuseppe Recchi and Filip Wutke. But if he wants to go, he wants to go. And hopefully we can get a little bit of money for him. I'm not really expecting to, but you never know. And the other player that wants to leave is Armand Traore. Disappointing, his attributes have actually all increased, but I guess that's down to the fact that he was out for 12 months and his attributes dramatically decreased. So he's back on the up now. He hasn't actually played for us this season and with the depth that we've got in the squad at the moment, it's not very likely that he will play for us. So I can see why he wants to leave. So Cezena are six to four favorites for this one. We are 13 to eight. Cezena's key man is Loic Nestor. He is a 32-year-old French under 21 in the national. He plays at centre-back, valued at £32,000. He's got an average rating of 8.02 this season. And from centre-back, he's managed to get five assists. It's quite impressive. He must have been playing right-back at some point during the season. But he seems like a, a good player. I can see why he's their, their key man. And then our key man is Giuseppe Recchia, who, like I said before, has nine goals in ten games so far this season. Victory today can send us up the table as high as fourth, which could possibly take us above Fiorentina, who are obviously the big fish in this small pond of Serie B. His team talk's gone well. Morale is pretty high, so hopefully we can capitalise on the high morale and get another win today, which would be a third in a row. It would be a very nice way to, to continue our start to the season free kick and it's Petrucci great save and cleared by Syed that free kick was in a very dangerous position I don't know who gave that one away incidentally Dale Jennings has picked up a bit of a knock he does seem to be recovering though so I'll just have to keep an eye on that obviously Acosti got injured in the same position as him so we, we probably have to bring on Shane Long I think throw in with Pinardo on the left deep in our own half plays it nicely to Syed Syed moving forward down this left wing, plays a pass to more central to Recchia, who just manages to get that. Sprays a ball right to Furlong. Jennings is in space down the right wing, still carrying that knock. Can he get the ball in? He can, and that's side netting from Jennings. And he's won a corner. Jennings is going to take this corner as well. Towards Mardio, it's headed away though. Recchia knocked it down for Syed, who's shooting it. Saved by Garuti. Nice bit of play there. 
making chances, which is good. So that's half time at nil nil. Um, we're doing all right. Not not scored obviously, but I'm going to say I'm happy and keep to keep it up. Now Dale Jennings, what can we do about you? We've only got Shane Long on the bench. Shane Long can he's got experience, and I don't want to have another long-term injury to one of my attacking midfielders. So I'm going to bring Shane Long on for Dale Jennings. And there's quite a few 6.4s hanging around. Um, obviously, I don't want to take Rekia off. Pinata is... Uh, Pinata? Pinata is on a 6.9. Um, we do have backup for that position. He's also on a yellow card. I'll, mm, yeah, I'm going to bring on Raposada for Pinata. And we'll leave it like that for the second half. Hopefully we can grab ourselves a goal. Good chance in the first half. Good chance for either side, really. That free kick from Cezena and then our corner opportunity with Syed shooting straight at the goalkeeper. Hopefully we can get a few more of those opportunities. We do, according to the stats, we have had more shots than Cezena. We've had seven. They've only had five. Three of ours on target, one of theirs. But no clear-cut chances for anyone yet. Two half chances for us, one half chance for Cezena. Cezena in control of the ball, but that's to be expected since we are playing a counter-attacking mentality. Now, free kick, deep in Cezena's half. Just in Cezena's half, not deep. Laura, that's a girl's name, passes it to Nesto, crosses it in, Furlong heads it away, and Long's got it now. Can he launch a counter-attack? That pass is shocking from Shane Long. Semprini's got it at the back for Cezena. He plays it forward to Nesta, their key man. Now Laura's got it again. Forward to Petrucci, who knocks that down to Tedesco. Back to Laura. Played out left to Poli. Cuts inside to Tedesco. It's Yamelo. That's off the post and then hits Kelly and De Benedictis. First to the ball and managed to get that away for a corner. Danger's not gone though. Petrucci with the ball in and Mario heads that away. I think it's time for our final change and it's one that I don't really one to make but I'm gonna have to he's not playing well at all we've got Wutka or Simonse on the bench um Simonse has scored a few but Wutka mm, this is a difficult one I'm gonna go with Wutka because he was who I was intending to bring on for Rekia Dan Simonse has scored off the bench in the Italian Cup I think it was but Philip Wutka we need to we need to give him some game time he's not had much this season if any Kelly with a goal kick. Could this be a chance for us? The ball's towards Long. Knocks it down to Itri. Now Mardio. Wutka's straying offside. In my, the corner of my eye, I can see. Furlong's got it on the right. Long ball to Long, ironically. He crosses that in. Wutka's there. Oh, it's too far. Nesta clears it. Itri's got it, though. Mardio out wide to Furlong. Long's in space if you can find him. I think he's going to try and take himself. He loses the ball. Polly clears that. Alves wins it in the air, though. No Mardio. Chance is still on. If we can find someone, it's Furlong with the ball on the right. Goes past the defender this time. Can he cross it? He can, but that's straight to an opposition player. And Taufa clears that. De Benedictus intercepts well. Falls to Long and flicks long. Woodka's there. And it's a goal. Philip Woodka. Is that onside? It is. They feel that it's offside. Woodka gets his first goal of the season. And it's an inspired substitution from myself, if I do say so myself. And we're well into stoppage time. This could be a chance for them, though. Nestor's got it on the right. Obviously, he's had five assists already this season. He could grab another one here. Great position for him. Kelly collects that easily. And just hold on to it for a little while, please. About 30 seconds left. Kelly, long ball forward towards Wutger, but Semprini heads that away. I think Amadio won. That's fallen to Syed. Just need to keep the ball now. If we keep the ball, then we've won this game. Syed to Amadio. Nice pass to Wutka. Play it safe, Wutka, come on. Out wide to Rapasada. Five seconds left. Rapasada to Syed. And I think this is it. There we go, full time whistle. And we've managed to win against Susanna. Philip Wutka. Staking his place for a, a, a first. Staking his claim for a first team place there with that goal. Um, Giuseppe Recchia was very poor today. But Wutka showing why maybe he should be in contention for. Starting striker. Very good win for us. Uh, I'd like to see where that puts us in the league. So we stay 8th. Got 19 points. We are only 7 points off top of the table. I don't want to get too optimistic. There's only 11 games gone and I have fallen further than 
Fallen from positions better than this in the past. I think the first season in Serie B, we were quite high up the table at the start of the season and managed to get relegated. So, not counting my chickens just yet. But we've got Salernitana next. They're in fourth. So, if we beat them, we can theoretically go above them because the league is sorted in head-to-heads, I think. So, we'll be back in a second for the Salernitana game. So I have made a couple of changes to the starting eleven for the Salernitana game. Um, Long comes in at right midfield for the injured Dale Jennings. He's out for two weeks. And Philip Wutger, I've rewarded him with a place in the starting eleven for that goal in the last game. Rekia falls to the bench. There is a new player on the bench that I don't think I've shown you. He is a new signing, I believe. Pierluigi Bocchia, he is an attacking midfielder. Attacking right midfielder. He's only 19 years old. Current ability one star. Potential ability up to three and a half stars. Um, you can see he's got free kick taken of 13. So if he does get home, you can stick him on a, on a free kick and maybe get him a goal. But just thought I'd try and integrate them a little bit more with the first team. We don't have many youngsters. We do have quite a few youngsters, actually. So I don't know what I was about to say there. But yeah, Pierluigi Bocchia on the bench. First time. So we are 13 to 8 for this one. Selenatana are 6 to 4 favourites. Giuseppe Recchia, our key man, despite the fact he's on the bench, 9 goals in 11 games for him so far this season. And their key man is Alessandro Eliuteri, who has created 8 goals in 10 games so far this season and has an average rating of 7.74. He's a 23 year old Italian and he's valued at £175,000. I've scouted him in the past, but he isn't interested in joining me. He has pretty good attributes as well I have to keep an eye on him so again team talk went well hopefully Philip Wutka can do what he did last game and get himself a goal obviously it's a bit of a risk dropping my top goal scorer to the bench but hopefully it's one that will prove to be the right move corner for us first action of the game Mardio whips it in Burns there with a header and it's in it's 1-0 that's our first chance of the game, our first shot, and Johnny Byrne gets his first ever goal for us with an amazing header from an Amadio corner. Completely against the run of play, and that pushes us up to fourth in the table. Incidentally, Philip Butker does appear to have picked up some form of knock. He didn't have an injured sign next to his name, but his conditioning did go down to 60% at one point, which is a bit concerning. We would then have to bring on Rekia after looking into that at halftime, as Slinatana have the ball now with Mbaye who plays a nice pass to Conti, out wide to Eliuteri, who's the danger man, and that's a great save from Kelly from Latte Lath. Eliuteri, like it said at the beginning of the game, he has got lots of assists this season. We do need to keep an eye on him. I have got the team to close him down and all the other stuff, apart from hard tackling. Don't, don't want to kick him too hard. So that's half-time, and we go 1-0 up at half-time against Lenatire. This would be a very impressive result if we managed to hold on. Philip Wutke, now 70% condition, not too pleased with that. His rating also 6.5, not pleased with that. So I think he is going to come off. We're going to bring on Giuseppe Rakia. I'll just do the first the first half. No, it's because I was reading what my assistant manager was saying. We'll just do the team talk. Um, things are going well. I know you're capable of better. And that seems to have worked. So, the question now is, Philip Wutke, does Simone say come on or Rekia? And the answer is obviously Rekia. Other people that aren't performing well, De Benedictus isn't playing too well. I am always wary of changing a centre-back. So, I'm not going to do that in this instance. We'll see how he gets on in the second half. Possibly take him off then. We do have Lapis Kiakis on the bench. Who can come on and play in that position but we get the second half underway with Salernitana hopefully we're going to get a surprise 1-0 victory today Sayad defending well there knocking the ball out of play substitution time and it's going to be Hassan Sayad that's going to have to come off his condition is down to 64% I don't like to see that however we don't have any out and out attacking left midfielders on the bench, we do have Pinado on the field who can play left wing back and Rapasad on the bench that can play left wing back. Kieran Freeman can play left midfield and Pierluigi Bocchia can obviously play attacking right midfield. Hmm. And leaning towards either Rapasad or Bocchia, is it too soon to give Bocchia a chance? I mean, it's a risk. Ah, what the hell, why not? 
Pierluigi Bocchia making his debut out of position. It's a pretty similar position, I guess. Right attack midfield, left attack midfield. Hopefully he can manage it. Zandrini with a goal kick for Salernitana. Knocked down by Latte Latte to Forrester. This looks dangerous. Furlong with a great tackle but can't win the second ball. Ball goes out wide to Costa who's in lots of space. Now Costa shoots, it's off the bar. Byrne clears it. Thank God for that. Kelly was lost. He didn't know where the ball was. Salernitana piling the pressure on in the second half. Just under 15 minutes left and we're going to make our final substitution of the game. And it's going to be the captain, Stefano Amadio. He is knackered. We're going to have to take him off. And we're going to bring on Marco Speziali. Hmm. No rating yet for Bocchia. Do I move him to centre midfield and put Rapasada attacking left? I think I do. Bocchia can play centre midfield. So we're going to take Amadio off and we're going to bring on Francesco Rapasada attacking left midfield and there's a highlight immediately Kelly with the ball forward towards Itri but Capra Dossi wins that in the air mardio has got it now not being subbed yet it's Itri a wide to Furlong and that pass is not very good chance for Salernitana now ball sprayed out left to Latte Lath Latte Lath cuts inside now and he shoots and that's just wide from him that would have been something special defence need to wise up here with 10 minutes left we're still 1-0 up there's a temptation to go defensive, but I feel that might be counterproductive. We're deep into stoppage time. 15 seconds left. Slinatana have the ball. De Benedictus wins that well in the air. Knocks a few more seconds off the clock. Surely they're not going to be able to get a goal now. It's four seconds left. Guilari's got it in the centre of the field. Latte Lat, that should be that. And it is. It's another 1 0 victory. What a sensational run of games this is. It's four games in a row that we have won. And another solid victory. Very impressed, especially by Stefano Mario. Captain, fantastic today. Did Bocchia get... Bocchia got a 6.7. That's not a bad rating for a debut. 19-year-old doing well, out of position for a little bit of the game. That moves us up to fourth in the table. We are fourth. We are five points behind top of the table. Empoli. That's quite nice that they're top of the table. They actually, they, they're one of the teams that beat us. So it's good to see that. Also, Carpi beat us. So two of, the, two of the teams that beat us are above us, which kind of makes sense. But brilliant, brilliant victory today. Stefano Maggio, seven key passes and a pass percentage of 77%, match rating of nine. Excellent stuff. So next episode, we're going to do the two games before the Christmas break, which are Fiorentina, which is obviously the, probably the biggest game of the season, I would say, in terms of stature of clubs. And Citadella. So we've got quite a few games to play offline in the meantime. But we'll be back in the next episode with the Fiorentina Citadella games. So that is it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel to get all my content when it comes out. And I'll see you next time.